All right, let's get it for yet another week. The Outcast Podcast has got the band back together. We've got the Brown Man, my man, Ramo G. What's up? I gotta pee. Reba. Uh, can you wrong, hold, wrong. can you hold it? We're not there. Brown. We're not there yet. I can. Yeah, yeah. No, my prostate lets me hold it for a really long time. Oh. TMI. 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 Got the black man. Memphis is here, and yes, look at him, looking good. Bitches. <laughs> Rest in peace, Rocco. We love you, baby. Who's Get that? your punk ass outside. Get a haircut. How about our white guy? Where is he at? Tomcat, you here? I don't see him. Still here, baby. He's just as dark as I am. I don't know. He's been in the sun a little bit. You know, he has. He's trying, he's trying Playing to basketball. Somewhere. Doing a good job, by the way, sir. Thank yeah, you. Look at him. Nice oh, to see you, man. Yeah. Nice to see you, Tomcat, as uh, always. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a great, to be here. great show lined up for today. We're going to talk a little ditty. <laughs> We're one of the first shows, and we can all attest to it. One of the first shows to break the Diddy news. We did. And well, we have more breaking news about Diddy. Oh, no. And whether or not Diddy, Diddy, do it, we will find out. The Diddler. Coming up. Plus some fun, the diddler. fun memes out there on the internet about the Diddy. Oh, that we We've also. Mean or funny? Memes that are funny. Oh, very, very, very. And uh, Mugshot Mayhem, we've got the shut up button right now is in the hand of Tomcat because he won last week's award. Congratulations. Good job. This week, something extra on the line, not just the shut up button, but also a manscaped setup. We got the razor that get, comes with a whole setup. That's dope. There well, he is. needs it, so hopefully Check he it can out. win it. Yeah, he'd be walking around Your like balls will thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we got a new sponsor, by the way. They haven't given us the uh, link for you to save money yet. They start next week, but we figure we got the uh, manscaper in the studio. So yeah. we're going to give it. We only have one of them. One of you guys is going to get to go home with it. And then tell us how it is shaving. You know, your your what have you? He can he can do it. Uh, put it on your his vagina, Ramo. <laughs> do you uh, Memphis? Do you currently shave your balls? <laughs> yeah, man. You got a manscape. You know what I mean? Like your for tank? real, for real. Yeah. You, know, you got a all manscape. That. You can't be walking around with swamp, especially living in damn Florida. You, you swamp ass you even and all. That? Yuck. Do you trim like you guys? That's TMI, man. Only <laughs> person you know that. I'm not talking to you. I'm just I'm shooting it out to the guys. Yeah, like wait, he wait, asked break, me if you shaved. I'm like. What's that, Tomcat? Who, me? Oh, is that, are you using it already? I'm using the shut up button on Raymo. <laughs> Let's just start this show off good. Breaking news. Raymo free intro. That's a first for the show. Very early use today of wow. the shut up button. My gift to everyone. Oh, thank you. Yeah, bringing the well, shut up. Are you well, going to, I thought he got to cut off his mic. All right, your mic is going off uh, for the first segment Holy of the show. Holy shit, in record time. But wow, I, I didn't see that. We wait, wait a minute, his mic is still segment. on. Yeah, you, you got to turn his mic off. All right, his mic's off. Yeah. It's official. You weren't even in the first segment. For the, yeah, shut for the, up. All right, shut up. I mean, that's the <laughs> award that Tomcat <laughs> won last week is he has the right to use it. Show off the button if you can, Tomcat. You you got the shut up button last week. This thing's great. I'm talking. Hit it. Hit it again? Oh. Shut up. There you go. So now you're done, Ramo. It's over for you for this segment. And that's it's just me and you, Memphis. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. That's man. the beauty. Uh, and the first segment is going to be, unfortunately, the first segment is me doing an R.I.P. for Memphis's cat. He had to put his cat oh, yeah. down this week, man. R.I.P. to your kitty. Yeah, what, what Rock, was your, what was Rock your cat's Star. Name? Name, Rockstar Johnson. We had to put him down yesterday. I'm so yeah. sorry to hear that. Damn, I'm terrible. sorry to hear that. I love yeah. cats. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't I didn't like cats, but I love him. And and he I, my wife and I have been together what 13 years, but we've been married going on eight, somewhere like that. So I I've been in his life for like that long. That's like one of the longest relationships I've ever had in my life. Sorry to hear that, and, bro. Yeah, Damn. so I didn't think I would get all like choked up and emotional about it, but I did and and you know. No, so I would too. Man. I got a cat named Tuna, and she's awesome. I, they found her under a bridge on Fort Myers Beach, and when they first brought her, I didn't want her, right? Mm -hmm. My lady didn't really want her, but then we were like, mm, eh, let's take this cat. Now I couldn't imagine like a day without this cat. Yeah, my wife, she's she's going through it because she rescued him when he was like three or something like that. He literally be 17, so he, he beat the odds. He had like uh, kidney failure and... Uh, his heart, well, he had a uh, enlarged heart. It was some some things like felines die from. It's called EK something. I don't know, but it's like three letters, and kit, uh, cats get it a lot, and uh, they die behind it. It's crazy. And so yeah. So rest in peace to my little buddy Rocco, mommy, daddy. Rest in you. peace, Rocco. R.I.P. Rocco. I, I never thought that that would be so hard, but I had to put a dog down once. Yeah. Pepper. Uh, 
And it is odd, too, because I know, remember Kevorkian, that guy that used Dr. to Dr. Kevorkian? Put, he would put humans down. And yeah. And some people thought that he, you know, he should have the right to if you don't want to live anymore. Dr. Death. That's let Dr. Dr. Death just put you down. But it's very hard when you're holding a living thing in your hand. And then you see the little juice go through the, the, the pipe that goes into them or the little tube. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, no, no life left. But this dog was, was in bad shape. It lived to be 18. But very difficult putting an animal down. So I just wanted to uh, give a... Shout out to Rocco and, uh, you know. What was that sure dog's you, name? We appreciate it. Pepper. Pepper. Uh, Pepper. Was, Shout out Pepper. to Pepper and Rocco. Shout yeah, out my wife and I appreciate it. We th- Thank you, all We appreciate it, man. All right. And uh, your dog. Shout out to your dog, too, um, Tomcat, because I know your dog's not doing well. I hope, He's uh, very old. Bear. Yeah. How's Bear, Bear doing? Very old, yeah. He likes to just crap. I, I would ask <laughs> Ramo about his animals, but unfortunately, he's 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 he's, he's, he's struggling he's, over there. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on to our next topic. Anyway, let's do something more fun. It's now time to uh, play a game that we're going to call Mugshot Mayhem. It's time Sweet. to look at some fun All mugshots right. here. All Let right. me turn Ramo's mic back on. Hold on, stand by. Oh no, he's used to that sound. You know, police chasing him and shit like Pull that. Pull over. <laughs> Sir, we're putting you back on the other side of the border. Sorry about your kitty, man. <laughs> We've moved bad on. Bad boys, Moved bad on from boys. that. Damn. Hey, man, is this, this, this is another uh, Tomcat creation. It is. I like this. This is dope, man. Yes. I like this. I like this. For our cop segment. Yes. I like this. this so uh, this week, the idea is to win the shut up button on the Outcast podcast this week. We're going to throw some mug shots up on the screen. You're going to decide what you think that they got arrested for. If you can, it's multiple choice. Whoever gets the most right at the end of this game will get the shut up button and the manscaped whole setup. It comes in a big box with the, the clippers, all the little handy connections and connectors it comes with. Awesome. So good luck to you. Let's start with our, we have to look at the screen. For those of you listening to us on radio, you'll have to check out our YouTube channel so you can see these mug shots. But for those of you watching on YouTube and Twitch and Facebook, you'll see them. Let's start with our first mugshot. If we could throw Charles Wideneck McDowell. <laughs> Good Lord. He has been in trouble oh, with the holy law. Holy shit, uh, Next man. level stuff. He's been in trouble with the law many occasions. Necklace behavior. Uh, <laughs> is he a linebacker or some shit? What do you mean necklace? He's all neck. Yeah. God dang. All right, so I'll start with you, Tomcat. Do you think Charles Wideneck McDowell was arrested for stealing neckties from Walmart? A, <laughs> that's stealing neckties from Walmart, or B, battery, or C, do you think he got in trouble maybe for stalking someone? So stealing neckties, battery, or do you believe he was stalking? Stalking. All right, let's go to Memphis. What do you think? I'm going to go battery. You're going to go battery? And uh, what do you think, Ramo? I agree with Tomcat. You're going to go battery. No. no. Stalking. Stalking. Can you imagine him motherfucking stalking you? Just like, he can't even peek around the corner. Definitely going to get him in he a chokehold. He can't even peek around the corner right. <laughs> he's just right all out. like eyeballs yeah, and shoulders yeah. just coming around the corner. He can't even, can't even stalk. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like... Fucking... <laughs> It looks like one point for Ramo and one point for Tomcat. Oh, okay. The next guy, he was stalking a naked woman. How about that? Uh, I mean, are you you supposed to? So congratulations. uh, What the the fuck did this dude just say? Kind of creepy, dog. All right, on to our next mugshot here in Mugshot Mayhem. This is for you flat earthers. You like to talk about flat earth? How about flathead? Let's see Carlos. Oh, my God. Shit. Is that real? Carlos. Oh, this is man. not real. Bang. This guy's name is Carlos Rodriguez. Well, he Rodriguez. wasn't stealing hats. <laughs> I mean, he was actually he might stealing have. hats. Look at that. Probably something violent. Oh, my God. Oh what my happened God. to him? Uh, he's 31 years old. His name is Carlos Rodriguez, and he has a deformed skull because he got into a car accident. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Damn. Tomcat. Way to make fun of a disabled person. damn brain go? Yeah. According to the Daily Mail, when he was 14, he was driving while he was on drugs and he hit a pole. And the crash sent him flying through a windshield and he landed on his head. That's why he has the flat head. That and he sucks. never found his brain. All right, on wow. to you, Memphis. Do you think he, A, got busted in this mugshot for attempted murder? Was it B, trespassing? Or did the flat head guy go down for Grand Theft Auto? GTA. A, attempted murder. B, trespassing. 
or C, grand theft? I'm going to say guess. trespassing. Okay, you locked in his answer. B, trespassing. Tomcat, what do you think Carlos did? Was he using a flathead screwdriver, you think? Trespassing. That's You're going to go B, trespassing. Ramo G, you could take the lead here. If you wanted to go with either A, B, or C, attempted murder, trespassing, or grand theft, you want to go with the other two, or do you want to go out on your own? I'm definitely going with grand theft. No, no, but that was grand theft auto. Sure, grand yeah, theft yeah. auto, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a look. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. You guys are all... He's a murderer. Wrong, wrong, wrong. He's an attempted murderer. He, he's, a, he's an attempted murderer. There you go. It took you two tries. I kind of, from the look, thought maybe that was well, it, but then I I'm like, it's got to be too, that's too easy. You know? I'm like, nah, he trespassed Mur- on Murderer, murderer wasn't I mean, on the did, list. Yeah, attempted murder, I think Attempted was. murder was yeah, on was. the list. Yeah, that was it. That was the first one. It was attempted murder, trespassing, and grand theft. Low in Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, I am an idiot. I'm high as hell. Because so, so, I would have picked murder. So far, we have a tie. Oh, Ramo man. has one. Well, Tomcat has one. Memphis has zero. All right, moving on to our next mugshot in the mugshot mayhem. Let's go to our, if we could, go ahead and put up this Florida man's mugshot as it went oh, viral. Florida man. After he had a tra- traffic stop, this guy looks like his uh, mom may have had sex with Shrek. Go ahead and take oh, a look. Oh, no. Look what at this the guy. Fuck it though. Look at that forehead. Viking. Listen up. Listen up. Can you hear me? Look at the size of those ears on that guy. He probably- oh, my God. He got Dumbo ears for real. No one, he always in trouble, man. He, that boy, he in trouble. He looks like a dangerous dude. He, he does, does look, look dangerous. a little dangerous. He is a Florida man. Mm. And he, got, he had him and a couple of his buddies, one chick, one dude. They were all in the car cruising through Florida. And he would go down. What do you think? He did. We'll start with you, Ramo. You got to You think he was A listening to music too loud? Definitely you, not you, that. You think important. he was B driving on a suspended license? Or do you think it was C indecent exposure? What do you think? Whoa, what do you think happened to the Florida man? Indecent exposure. You think he pulled out his wanky and showed it to someone? 100%. All right, you got that answer locked in. Let's go on to Tomcat. What do you think? Listening to music too loud, driving on a suspended, or indecent exposure? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Ramo, indecent exposure. Let's see. No. You forgot to ask Memphis. We got to ask Memphis now. Of course. But now he knows not to pick that one. Yeah. Cheater. That totally is a cheat. I never said that I was a game show host. You know, <laughs> that's all right though, because you still need a point, and you still got to pick out of two. So, all go right. ahead. All right. This will be, be for a half a point. No, give it to him. That's all good. Right, we'll no, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Let's go. Cool. No, 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 no. He has to pick. Okay. Yeah, do, yeah. do you think it was listening to music too loud or driving on a suspended license? Driving on a suspended license. <laughs> let's see. Yes, yeah. you got right. it correct. Very nice Easy. work. Yes. So we all have one. Everybody yeah. has one. Everybody has one. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, Sorry I, mean, I fucked look up at him, man. I, I think like, I saw this story. He's like Florida. Like I wonder what county, what, what county like you think, like you think he was from. What, what county do you think? Was it like Hillsboro? Ocala. 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 It oh. happened in Ocala. Marion oh. County. Yeah, it would be Ocala. When he got pulled <laughs> when he got pulled over, the driver, the guy with the big ears, had a suspended license. The chick, she went down. She had some meth pills on her and a digital scale. And then the right. guy had a handgun and some coke on him. Right. That's Florida man, I Florida woman, story. right there. You go. Quite the stop <laughs> in Ocala. All right, let's go on to our next mugshot. This mugshot mayhem game is really, really taking off here. It's fun. I like mm-hmm. it. Okay, this next one is our 45th president. Let's go ahead and put this next mugshot up. Oh God. <laughs> Tomcat's gonna win this one. That's the official mugshot. He one should. image, one face, one American moment. Look at Let's that guy. It. This is the Don. Now that was his mugshot. I'll give you a little hint. <sighs> he don't look too. That thrilled. was the mugshot in Atlanta. Oh, the one in Atlanta. It's right. He got like a gang of them though. I'm gonna start with uh, Memphis Stop on it. this one. Quiet. Quiet. Do you think it's? <laughs> do you think that this particular mugshot, this guy got arrested for falsifying business records? Do you think it was B violating the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act? Do you think it's C? Stealing spray tan. Oh, look at my African American over here. <laughs> oh. C. Do you think it was C? I'm willful kidding. retention 
That, you, you that think, wasn't Memphis. I was you, kidding. You think it was uh, stealing spray tan? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. What do you What do I, you think? Memphis? I think it was it's be the racketeering okay. Rico charge. All right, that was uh, in Atlanta. We'll see if you're right. Let's go with uh, Tomcat. What do B. you think? B. The racketeer. I did everything right, and they indicted me. Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you think that it is, uh, Tomcat? I did B. You did B. He okay, said, yeah, now, now we're on to uh, Memphis or Ramo. Now R- we're on to yeah, Ramo. I mean, I cannot not go with TK on this one. He would know. Like, he follows a guy. It's his uh, idol. Yeah, this was the Atlanta charge where they're saying that he, you know, messed with the results in the uh, election. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. And that would be racketeer influenced. And corrupt organization. Rico, as they call it. Yes. Don't you don't do want them charges, boy. That's terrible. You don't want right, them so, charges. All uh, right, so everybody got a point on that one. That's terrible. So our leaderboard is we've got Tomcat and Ramo with two. Oh, no. Memphis all of us has got two. two. Yep, we all yeah, got two. It's tie, tie game. Tie game is still. All right, here we go. Here we go. This next uh, woman, she's posing for her mugshot. Let's take a look at Charlene Thompson. Interesting. Look at this. Oh, broad. wow. Lovely lady, I do say. Man, she looked drunk. Look how she as does hell, her eyelashes dog. like that. Her. It's great. She got butterflies on her face. My she could be <laughs> not on those eyes. I can selling tell you a that. lot of Visine. <laughs> <laughs> clear, All right. Clear this, eyes. this woman has a lengthy, lengthy criminal history. I bet. She's been accused of throwing rocks at her neighbor's house. She's been charged with a lot of various acts. Smoking those rocks. <laughs> but sure. this, yeah, probably. this particular mugshot, she got arrested for something. Do you think that it's A, assault, B, petty theft, or C, <laughs> drug possession? We'll start with you, Tomcat. A, assault, B, petty theft, or C, drug possession? Oh my God! This is so difficult. It's a tough one. <laughs> I mean, it, it, could be all it could three be any of these. Of these. Assault, petty theft, or drug possession? Really hard. Petty theft. Okay, your answer is locked in. Let's go to Memphis. Damn it! I'm gonna go with assault. All right. Yeah, she looks like she could knock somebody. She looks like she's been in a fight. <laughs> all right. Uh, what do you think, Ramo? I'll go with uh, option C, drug possession. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have picked that one. Oh, All right. God, that's <laughs> the one. Right. I think that's the one. Who picked uh, Assault? Me. Now, uh, Memphis. Good Congratulations, job. Congratulations, Memphis. Yeah, very good nice. job. Thank you very much. She don't look violent. She just looks very nice. Bullshit. High. She looks high. Bullshit. <laughs> she looks kind of like, violent. She All looked, right. she I thought it was prostitution. Like you stole something. I was going to add a D. All right. <laughs> we have time for one more. Do you think we should do a guy that looks like the boogeyman or a Ooh. woman with the most tattoos you've ever seen in your life? I, I don't know. That one. I, I don't that, see that. That's debatable. Which one do you guys want? I want the woman with the tattoos. He's All a right. freak. All right. Let's, so, let's put up Alyssa like Zabrowski, 31 from Ohio. Okay, we got to do this. If one of us don't do it, he gets it. She has a tattooed face. We're going to save the other one in case we need a tiebreaker. Right, right, right. Well, I'm in the lead right now. Do he we is. Ha- do, we have, do we have the uh, picture of Alyssa Zabrowski? Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, I've seen boy. this story, too. Look at that face. You've seen oh, this one? No. Well, I've seen her picture. You were I don't normally looked, read this story. Like you're masturbating to this picture? She looked like a side of a tequila uh, bottle. Maybe. Yeah, she maybe. does kind of look like At a Halloween, bottle. I did. She's a sugar skull. I don't know. Yeah. I, that's like, that's more like uh, like uh, Mexican. Now, she could have been arrested for anything. So maybe she is Mexican. Why know. are you judging? I'm not. So, uh, looking at the list here, hmm. we're going to start with... <laughs> We're going to start with uh, Tomcat on this one. All right, Fine. good. Sure. Do you think that it's A, prostitution? Because she's my people. No, B, oh. <laughs> do you think it's B, arrested for shoplifting and drug possession? Or do you think C, she got pulled over for a DUI? That's hard. Prostitution, but- shoplifting and drug possession, or DUI? Okay, we're going to go. Nobody's banging her. I know that. What makes You'd be you surprised. So? DUI, I'm going to go, pro, uh, what was it? Prost, drug drug possession and theft, the middle one, B. Drug possession and shoplifting. That two, one. Two charges in one stop. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Oh, wow. Okay, let's uh, move on to Memphis. What do you think? Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to go prostitution. 
Prostitution. Hey, I'm gonna go prostitution. All right, let's go to uh, Ramo. What, what do you got? Prostitution, shoplifting, and drug possession, or the DUI? She looks extremely tired. I'm going to say she was drinking and driving. She's okay. not hungover. She's just exhausted because she was up drinking all night. Eyes. You know that, right? Of yeah. course I know that's ink around her eyes, dude. Okay. That make her look, that make her, that make her look tired. Who said arrested for drugs? shoplifting and drugs? Yes. TK, TK did. Nice job. Do so we have like a tiebreaker now or something? Okay, yeah, now yeah, yeah. We do have one more, so we get to do the crazy looking guy, the real life boogeyman. Please put the boogeyman up on the screen. This is Noel Dawson. Noel Dawson Jr. Oh man, damn, that's me. Oh, no, wait, that's <laughs> damn, damn <right>? it. <laughs> I was all fat. What? That's Tom. I didn't even recognize damn. that. No shit. That's yeah, hilarious. Fat. What'd you get arrested for, Dick? What'd you do? Uh, man? That time, uh, this I had a little weed week, in right? the car. Oh. Yeah, I got had weed, and then I tried to swallow it, and they like oh, be, started be be tampering with evidence and shit. What was the thing on the salty. side of your head there? It looks like he, had he a beat weapon. me up. A knot. He <laughs> beat me up. Oh, you got your ass. That's, yeah. up. That's fucked up. Yeah. Hey, you still back the blue. My poor dude. Hey, whoop your ass. You still back there. Don't back that guy. Yo, well, <laughs> yeah, hey, that guy. There's levels. There's levels. <laughs> Sir Matt suggests you use That's your tough. knife stick. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, That's I know bad. what I did, so. We're not going to use that one. That was okay. Fun. Yeah, yeah. That'd be I've cheating. lost a lot of weight to look, good, look a lot better now. <laughs> it's funny. I was younger then. I look better now. Older. Let's put up the boogeyman. And he's not have. swallowing weed. He's smoking it. This is uh, Noel Dawson. Holy shit. Uh, he looks like a weird uh, dog, the bounty hunter. He's got that twisted grin, a little greasy. Look at him. He look like. Look at that mullet. Well, he like he smack, uh, smoked some bad meth. He, he, What's up with them eyebrows, too? I don't know, right? Looks like the Joker. I'm willing to bet he don't have any teeth. Uh, he might have a couple in there. He, oh. like he, he might be a mouth breather. He, he kind of looks like a mouth breather. All right. Can think? we please take him off the screen behind me? Thank you. you. Nervous? Thank you. Do you think that it is? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna start. Oh. We're gonna start with Memphis because he's the only one that oh. hasn't had the shut up button. So again, this is this is for all the marbles. All right. Got Somebody's this. gonna get the shut up button and the new Manscaped pack that we got in the mail. Got it. Is it a? He charged his son with a hatchet. Tried to attack his own child. I can see that. I can see Do that. you think that he was trying to hook up with a young 15-year-old girl online? Possibly. Or do you think it is C? He happened to get caught and he had a little meth in his pocket. I, I mean, I wouldn't disagree her. with that, but it, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he was trying to fuck around with a little girl. He just looked like one of them weird motherfuckers. Trying to mess around with a little fifth of pedo is what. Yeah, he, chomo. Little motherfucker need his ass. Pedo. That's yes. what he need his ass with. I think uh, this needs to be just me and Memphis because if Rainbow it gets it, then no. we'll have to keep going. So, no, 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 so no, no. It's between you guys. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead, go ahead, Tom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? So I'm gonna go. I'll go with A just so it's different. A. Yeah, he attacked the guy, attacked his son. All right. But what if you're both wrong? Then we still got to keep going. Then I get the, I get the uh, shut Hopefully up we're on. not. Do I get back on? Yeah. All right. I, yes. I like that rule. The uh, the answer of why Mr. Boogeyman got arrested is because he was charging his son with a hatchet. Yes. No shit. Ah! God damn it. Nice. TK kept the damn button. Nice. Good job. Congratulations, man. Low info. Idiot. Nope. TK, Good you not only <laughs> get to keep that idiot. shut up button for another week here on the Outcast <laughs> podcast. But yes, you also get the Manscaped prize pack. My he lady, thanks you. He needs it. Need it. He, he does. Really does need it. He needs it. I, well, I, you I, know, you know about my balls. I do. You know I'm about there my regularly. Nutsack. Every Wednesday. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That was fun. Thank Kinda you. Weird. That was a fun game. That was awesome. That was fun. Yeah, I got, what I got some lumps. Look at that guy. He banged me up a little bit. Now, that's a real dick. All right. Speaking of getting banged up. Hey. We got to talk about this uh, this Diddy story. Ooh. Oh boy, oh, boy! Unfortunately, you know, I don't know if you guys saw the. I gotta video. tell you, I gotta tell you, I've stopped posting any Diddy shit because I feel bad for the guy. I don't want him to kill himself. You feel bad for him <laughs> after? I can't. I feel <laughs> bad that the whole world is just collapsing on this guy. He is a piece of shit for doing what he did. Yeah, right. Of course right. he is. But two things can be true. The whole I do feel like the whole world is is kicking this guy. I I just you know. I, d- I have stopped posting things about say? it. I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit. I'm just saying I'm not posting about it anymore. Well, now there's funny. another lawsuit. No need to pile on. Have yeah. You, have you heard the latest lawsuit? There's a model that's saying that you know he disrespected and sexually assaulted oh, her back in 2003. 
Uh, I've heard, you know, people now starting to tie him to the death of his ex-wife, Kim Porter. Mm-hmm. And um, another. I thought we already did. Well, well, I think we did a long time ago. Yeah. And now the heat is really on. And uh, we have a clip from the surveillance video. Now, the guys in the truck said that, that we shouldn't play much of it because it's really offensive. But I, I feel like people want to see it if you haven't seen it. Have you guys all three seen the surveillance Hell yeah, video? they've been playing it on TV yeah, like anywhere. in a loop, I like mean, 9-11. Hell yeah, yes. like if you over haven't seen its footage, what the heck, like, what's wrong with you? Let's just roll a little bit of the footage. This just is... Just the good parts. Yeah. I'm the, just kidding. The, there are the no video. good parts. The beautiful yeah, bean footage. Terrible. Who said that? That was you, Tom Cat. Here, here's the video of him uh, walking down. That's her walking down the hallway. She's trying to get the hell out of there. He and comes out. She should. she should. He's in a towel. Those Uh-oh. socks are terrible. You got to be confident to come out in the towel. What now? We could just cut it off. See, I, I feel like the next generation, they're a little soft. They said that by playing this, it's disrespectful to play. What do it's you guys been think? On the, it's been on, like, it's been on, it's like, been on like the news this, over and over again. No, no, no. You got you to gotta see it because... Does, does it show him here? Shit, if know, we and, didn't see the video, how would we know to be where we're at right now? Exactly. And right? you know what else? If too, no one, because I've seen the video, so I know how to react to Puffy right now because I understand what he what he did. I see. It's so I've wrong. seen it. It oh. made me want to whoop his ass. Snatched her. That was. Oh. See, and then kick her. Did he kick her? Yeah, he kicked, kicked her twice. Him. So you know he can't what a lie. Fucker. So the reason it sucks to have to show shit like this, right? But this video and almost this her. video almost didn't come out. And he put out that thing where it was like enough is enough and he and yeah, he told he everyone he didn't do it. And she had a lawsuit talking about this and this was in her lawsuit and he denied it. So the only way for us to really know she was telling the truth the fucking, shit like the this video. had to come out. Yeah, so stop being fucking soft. I mean, this so shit. It or, sucks. Or, but or, or you could believe her when she tells you that he was a total asshole like other well, people. So, well, you got to be you got to be careful, man, because women lie, too. I mean, women, you can't believe every fucking thing a motherfucker say. You got to get the and proof I'm first. I'm sure a lot of people did you believe. You get the proof first and then right? go sure, from I there. I hope so. I'm sure yeah, a lot of people did. So. Yeah, but I, but so. I don't give a shit somebody if, if the world uh, caving in on his ass. That's fucked up, man. Like, I don't give a fuck. What you don't do that to like, nobody. You don't, you, don't, you don't do that shit. And 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 Let motherfuckers would think feel they got all this power because they got all this bread and yep. all this other shit makes mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. behave a certain kind of way. Like, no, mm-hmm. people need to start getting their ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? Because that's fucked up. That could be your goddamn sister, your mama, or some damn body. You so, know what I'm saying? Like that. And fuck all that soft shit, motherfucker. He need his ass whooped flat out. Somebody, if he wherever he is, because I don't think he here in the states. But wherever we fuck at, somebody need to swing on him a few times. And the latest thing I heard is that Peloton has now dropped his music. I know our, oh, ra- yeah. our radio station that we're affiliated with, they dropped all of Diddy's music. So how, how do you feel, Ramo, uh, right now, if you were running a hip-hop radio station, would you be playing Diddy music? He's got a lot of great songs. You know, Missing You is a great one. Uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Uh, yeah, but he went on that song by that, himself. That, that, Ramo ain't using no Peloton. That's a what the bad boy for life. <laughs> Vic, victory. Sure ain't. I can't afford it. It's would, just would like you, five grand. You think it's time to stop playing his music and cancel um, this guy? Or what I, I'm I'm me personally. I don't know what I do. That's it's really a fine line because there's a lot of female fans now, especially of hip hop music and, and sh- you know that listen and well, are all, on radio all people stations. should be appalled. A hundred percent. I agree. Are you, I agree. Are you playing the music or not? You say delete the Probably music. Probably not. The I, and I'm pretty sure most radio. <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah. Most radio stations have. We all are. I think they yeah. put them on ice, but I don't yeah. think they're going to not stop. Playing Probably not forever. Because he, Maybe you after gotta, he you, dies. You, it's hard okay. to not play his music <laughs> because you got other artists on these songs and Thank you, you want to punish these other artists, you know what I mean? Like the songs he did with Mace or right. with Biggie and stuff like that. Right. You know, he got some massive records and, True. you know, all the Benjamins. Are you not going to play all about the Benjamins? When you hear that song, you lose your goddamn mind. He cut his verse out. You know he I mean? makes you, a great point because, no, remember, you know how Puff is in all the ad libs? Take is. that, take that. Yeah. Yeah, He's he all is. over Biggie shit. I had, I had to do radio mixes this morning and I played Hypnotize. Hypnotize is an amazing song. You yep. can't take Puffy out of Hypnotize. And it's an amazing song. And I want to play Hypnotize because it was just Biggie's birthday yesterday. Yes, Happy birthday, was. Biggie. Happy, yeah. Happy so birthday, I'm playing Biggie. Hypnotize, right? But sure. Puffy's in that song? He is. Yes, he is. Take that. guys are tripping with that Take that. Shit. I, guess it, I say as long as it's not his actual song, then 
Then yeah, he, shouldn't then be. His solo it shouldn't stuff. be off. Yeah, but anything I, with his, affiliated with his label, Bad Boy, you got to play their music. A lot of people feel like Diddy might have had got Puffy or uh, uh, Biggie killed. Nice, right? That's a lot what of people think. Some saying so that. So to was. not play Biggie's music because Puffy's all on the ad libs kind of sucks, too. You Did know you guys I'm see his apology? Um, yeah, I saw that bullshit. Let's, I, cut that shit I think off. we have a, a clip of the <laughs> apology. If we could uh, roll the tape of uh, some of the Puff Daddy apology that he released here just a couple days ago. Roll the tape. So difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Even Sometimes death. you got to do that. Looks like he's doing oh, yoga. <laughs> Yeah, and I would say if you're going to make a sorry video, do it in a less posh no place. Excuses. That place looks so nice. Why? I mean, he's rich. Looks like he's about to go jump in a beautiful pool after. I'm telling that motherfucker, he's he he not here in the U.S. My ashes in that video. Disgusted. Just leave the room serviced by the door. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. He didn't look disgusted. Shut the fuck did this. I sought out professional help. Yeah, he went. And to, they all want to get professional help. Well, I suggest he goes gets the therapy at BetterHelp. By the way, we are yep. brought to you by BetterHelp. I think hey, Diddy could use some. Yeah. Go to BetterHelp.com/outcast and you can save ten percent on your first month. What do you want to bet? He comes out with a song about this in about T minus two weeks, like yeah, well, maybe it, one week. He'll that be would like, be a dumb, dumb move. He'll be like, boom. I mean, who gonna work with him? First off. Nobody like you can't even get close well, to this kid. The kid already made a diss track well, about son, fifty cent about the raid. His son's they got, stupid. They then, got raided and, then, and he's and like, take that, take that. And then I'm gonna diss track. In the same diss song, talk. And he's telling on himself because he's like, oh yeah, the, the feds don't know about the house that we got next door where we did all the shit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah, not everything can be solved with a diss track. He's gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Trash, he got down they way. raided the house. That means I yeah. can put the new joint out. I mean, the, the, <laughs> we, we, we're talking about That's the, what you wait for, and right? We're talking uh, about yeah. the feds. You made a diss track to the feds. Like, what are you doing? Like, you stupid, hey, hey, dog. Entitled. He, man, he's stupid. Ramo, he's stupid. Fuck. He way past entitled. He's stupid. <laughs> stupid you. Do you bruh. think that he'll be uh, doing any jail time? Because it sounds like that Cassie video is not going to get him jail time. No, no because it's statute of yeah, limitations. It's up, it's which is funny because you can sit there and everybody, the whole world can see you beat somebody up. Statute of limitations, right? Seven but years. But Donald Trump, no statute of limitations, not, not respected. And they just well, go ahead and charge his ass anyway. Well, it depends on the state, too. This, we're talking me. about this was in California where this happened. Dun, Donald dun, Trump dun, shit is in another state, so you can't really New compare York. because each every state's different, so we can't you, we can't compare that. But what I will say is that uh, fuck him. Everything needs to happen bad to him because do he's been rude. doing he's been attached to a lot of fucked up shit. Not just this. You remember the shooting in New York where the woman got shot and he made Sean take the fall for that. Yeah, with yeah. with J Lo you know was there. I, mean? uh, I remember yeah, that. With, yeah, yeah J Lo was there. Hell yeah, shit, I remember that the, shit. The, the shit. And then, of course, Biggie Biggie and Tupac. And And the first, you know, the first shooting of Tupac at the studio. And Tupac always thought that Puffy. Yeah, Yeah, Tupac thought that. You know, now what about all these cameras that they (laughs) supposedly have at Puffs and the feds? Right. They confiscated this. And, you know, French Montana, I know, hangs out with uh, Puff a lot. DJ Khaled spent a lot of time with Puff. I'm not trying to say that these guys are going to be going down for anything, but you wonder. That if you, so if, I mean, you we you ain't gotta say it, but if you just think about it, if, when shit come out, right? Because obviously, shit gonna come out, and Eventually. you were like that, that person, that person, was like goddamn. But then you know, like they always around. But then it's gonna be some people that you ain't suspecting, like that one actress in that one movie that you like. Nah, she too kind of square. But in real life, she is a whore. And there's gonna be a lot more stuff coming out. You got what happened to Al <laughs> B. Shore always- and oh, yeah. uh, all his well, saga, we can't, well, right? We can't talk about that. So. <laughs> When you're talking about Puffy, you're talking about such a so much stuff. There's so many people that are coming forward, and there's yeah. a new lawsuit that says by a woman that's saying that he like drugged her and. But what I don't understand right, allegedly is that in this was, new lawsuit that was in 2003, uh, and so how can you be charged for something from 2003 in a lawsuit if you can't be charged for something that happened in 2016 or 2018, whenever this surveillance video was? Well, this was 2016 when this came out. Yeah, but, but the lawsuit, this woman, this model that just recently filed this lawsuit, let me see it this. happened in 2003. Let me say this. Is it because know, man, like, the statute of limitation only applies to criminal things, and because it's a lawsuit and not criminal, it's not subject to the statute of limitations? Well, that no, the things, the, things that, like that. the things that are not 
um, part of that statute of limitation is like the more egregious shit like murder and capital murder and shit well, yeah, like that. Also, I don't think that stuff that is like li- um, litigation as far as getting paid, not criminal stuff, as far as suing someone, I don't think that has statute of limitations. Yeah, because after they came out, oh, of you mean like civil? Like that. Si- this civil. is civil. This yeah, isn't criminal. Civil. Oh, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe that might be. That's yeah. why yeah, it's, it's a civil. it's a civil suit. Yeah, oh, okay, civil. that's yeah. why yeah. he's right. All right, well, let's move on to our next topic. I don't know how many of you guys watch uh, NASCAR. None. You guys watch any NASCAR? Nope, not a. Uh, you got to make a right, and then you make another right, and yeah. I thought they go left. Hey, you, you got to promote crap. Yeah, the they right? do go. No, it's left. a left. It's yeah, a left. I think they go left. Uh, Turn left. I mean, you can go right. Turn left. Have you guys oh, then you'll be gone? Then you'll be gone. <laughs> have you guys ever been to a NASCAR race before? No, I want to go to one though. I do want to experience it one time. I, I want to go to like Florida. Sorry. I want to go to uh, I'll Daytona. I've drunk there. Yeah, I've sure. been to uh, I've been to Homestead and I've been to Daytona. I'm not yeah. surprised. What's Boogie the difference between the two? Well, Homestead is more of a flat track, and it's in South Florida. And Daytona is the super speedway. You know, that's where they do the drafting and they right. haul ass. Uh, and the cars go much faster at Daytona. That's a badass And track. um But Homestead used to be the finale. So it was exciting to go to Homestead because it would be the last race of the year and they would crown a champion. Mm. But I there? worked, worked for a sports station and we got tickets and I've been in the... In the pits and stuff, and it's amazing the money that goes into these cars. Sure. And they fine tune the wheels to be adjusted. Just centimeters can make a difference and yeah. make your car faster. And sure. You have your pit stops where how quick can you take the tires off? There's a lot of strategy on when mm-hmm. do you when do you pit to get your gas, you know. And there's also strategy about people working together, blocking other race cars from getting around, and they're all part of teams. But uh, there was something very exciting that happened uh, this past weekend at the track if we have the video let's roll it this is uh ricky stenhouse jr if that ain't a ricky that's a that's he a name sound like a mouth breather if that ain't a name for that's you. a name that's Go a ahead mouth and, breather. uh do we have the video here it is so there's ricky stenhouse is the 47 one with the 47 and okay. then you got kyle bush he's the one with his back the shorter guy swings first i guarantee it yeah well watch and see what happens the fireworks are going off they just uh, these neither one of these guys won the race they just had uh, the crowning of the race to the victor. I Boom. told you. Told you. And Stenhouse uh. throws a right hand punch, and Kyle Bush goes down. And then watch everybody starts uh, pushing and swinging. And everybody's got their look phones at the guy out. standing there with the with the briefcase. He's not getting involved in any <laughs> oh, of that's man. Jay Yandel. He's not getting involved. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle trying to Bush break is out. pissed. This Holy is, shit! So it's yeah. like a fight, fight. Yeah. They Holy don't... shit! Oh, man. This is about. I bet anybody ten dollars oh, they blame boy. they blame the black guy that was standing in back. I ain't yeah. seen no black dude. If you're not if you're not throwing punches, you better get back on that kind of stuff. Yeah, for real. Yeah, hurt. If you tooth. got on this color uniform, you better hit that guy in that other color uniform. So did anybody get so ejected what? or was it? It was yeah, after the race. It was race, after huh? the race, so he got ejaculated from the car. Oh, nice. He got ejaculated. <laughs> yeah. So what race were they at? What, like where? Yeah, which where one was, was that? This, where were they? I'm not sure which track they were at. Talladega Nights. But, uh, uh, wait, are we focusing on the wrong part of the story? From what I heard, uh, you know, from my old man who likes to watch NASCAR, he's the one that uh, love told me about it. He said that uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. I guess kind of bumped Kyle Bush a little bit. But and, and it, that was more than a bump. I mean, he's no, so that was he, a straight right he, hand he, boy. He stuck that motherfucker. I'm talking about on the track. Oh, okay. they were both trying to get to the front of the pack. They're down to the last couple of laps. Yeah, he's been three wide already. Uh, boy, uh, this is the clip go, right here. On the line. There's not a lot of time, but Kyle Bush will pay you back. And here it comes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Boom. Boom. It's a little pit maneuver, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right. So he rammed his ass into. Oh, so there was Kyle Bush. Uh, uh, I guess. <laughs> Ricky Stenhouse, though I guess, hit him first. <laughs> oh, and then he gets payback. Bitch. But it was it wasn't it was just more of a blocking thing than a you know push you and take you out of the race. Well, Kyle Busch decided you want to mess with me, I'm just going to take you out. And so uh, that Kyle Busch is known for that kind of stuff. More like, like dry, Ricky Pusshouse. Yeah. Hey, a little hey bit. if you when, ain't first, you're last. When somebody's yeah. eyes are that, when somebody's looking at you like that dude was looking at him, you know you're about to get punched. Yeah, you, you, you should just go ahead and punch him first. Up. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, the hell he like, because he was way about. too close to him. Well, I mean, he's like in his face, like if you dog, have all you better, those cameras if you on give, you. If you don't give me like the arms of like I'm gonna smack you. You gotta tell him back up, motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta tell him back up. Warn him back the fuck up. Give me five it's, feet, it's kind of a it's kind of a different it's kind of hard because if you stick your arms out to push him away, now you've left yourself open to get punched anyway. 
So you might as well just stand there like this because then at least when he tries to throw the punch, you could try to do something. Well, now, I mean, if he, if if he you stick your arms out, you, now you don't have any... But, no, yeah, you, no, no, but no. you don't let nobody get that close to you in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Like, you stop at him all, as like, he's walking. Well, like, you, no, you, hmm. if, if a person gets you that close, then you got to hit him because no man is going to get in your face just be like, hey, man, what's happening? Yeah. He's literally going to come. Like, he's, no, he's if, gonna you, punch if you, you. one up on me, the, I am going to... I'm dotting your eyes. Remember back Quick. in school when you would like lean your side of your chest up against oh, yeah, each other and like, like walk that. around? Yeah, yeah, but you, yeah. You're like, man, what's Square up, dance. Man? What's up, man? But you, you like, knew you chill, Put your armor. Come on, man. Because... <laughs> Because what and here's what would happen if you you had to do that shit in the circle. And if you took it on somebody, somebody would like, hit my hand. Uh, he hit you, oh, hit my hand, I him, he hit you, and then you start fighting. The shoulder thing. You do the shoulder thing? <laughs> no, it, no I've never done that man. before, but when people used to do that in GI, take a shot. Oh, yeah. Take a shot. <laughs> somebody from the crowd would push one or the other one. Yeah, to get so them going. Bump into each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're dicks. Yeah, yeah. Wrong, wrong brown. brown. Thank you. Wrong brown. Thank All right, let's you. move on to our next topic. Jeez. Boy, the show has been flying by. We're going to move on to the hey, topic. Hey, you didn't tell us what was going on in that, that uh, pit down there, man, what you was doing down in the pits, uh, Gentry. Oh, down in the pits? I was just hanging out watching the, the race. You, you didn't know? get none of their food, none of their drink? Oh, yeah. I bet they had some Getting awesome barbecue, they women? huh? Uh, they got they got definitely have a lot of hot women, you know, there. Those no, yeah. no pussy, no McDonald's. I saw Teledega Nights. Yeah, I love NASCAR. I highly recommend you go. You might see a fight in the pits. You might my, might see some tits in the, uh, the grandstands. My friends just uh, went up there and uh, they, they just what, what was the race that they just ran up there up up in? Uh, I don't know. I don't really watch NASCAR, but I uh, have been to races and I um, think. Yeah, shouldn't you know that fucker? Uh, I can't. It's it's, lo- it's slipping my mind right now. But they just went up there and they always take like a Winnebago and they hang out. Thank you. And they said they had one of the drivers, like daughter, smoking weed in their Winnie in the Winnebago. And Michael Jordan was there. They said and his driver, yeah. his driver won. He's got a team, oh, yeah. right? A team. That's right. They did just win. That's right. Sure enough, I saw that. But I, one, so they said it was cool. I'm one surprised they weren't you, involved in the fight. This is one thing I love about NASCAR, and then we'll move on. But this is a great thing that I think everyone should appreciate. With the way they charge, the way they charge so much at the concessions, mm-hmm. NASCAR has a thing where they have you know when you go on a flight, if you can fit your luggage underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead, they have a requirement for how big your cooler can be. It has to be able to fit under your seat at the track, but you can bring your own cooler to a NASCAR race. So That's you can bring dope. so all the Bush beer and. Well, not all, Natty because it, it, he can't bring, like, a big rolling cooler. It has to be, like, one for a six-pack. How about if probably. you're in the pit? What the, what, what they let well, you Well, if you're bring? in the pit, you're drinking all that well, shit. Well, if you're in the pit, you're VIP, and you ain't worried about oh, it. Oh, you get But I'm just oh, saying. Oh, you get fed. So, imagine if you could go to an NFL game or a college game, and you could bring your own cooler. I mean, yeah, that would be cool. They, they they don't try to get you at the concessions with the NASCAR. They, it's, it's just a nice thing that they allow you to do when you show up. You can bring your small little cooler, a few beers, maybe a snack in there. Save let yourself me, some money. Let me tell you, yeah. if, if in, in college football, like say, for example, when I was at University of Tennessee in Neyland, and they allowed us students to bring a cooler to the game, oh, my God. we Holy shit. I would even say. You would have probably seen my mug shot up there. We used to get rowdy. They're smart. Go Vols, baby. Because people will bring in, let's say, a six-pack or a 12-pack, mm-hmm. drink that in like three hours. Shit, in three four, hours. Four hours. Yeah, by, you by figure time like they went around the track four times, that get, that shit gone. That's what I'm saying. Then at that point, we need more beer. You cannot stop, Bron Brown. Yeah, no, that's closer. the right one. <laughs> no, it's closer, closer, but wrong, wrong. No, definitely. Like, think about it. Like, you done got a few pops in you. It's hot outside. You You're having a good time. I did. I did. You're having a good time. You're gonna spend more money. You're gonna buy more food. Like. It, it's you smart. know what I, I would think do. it's actually I would, genius. I would, I would, pussy too. I yeah. would just I would just spring for the the the, the pit pass and just go in and just yeah. get whatever the hell I want. Yeah, I ain't cheap like that. When you because if you're gonna do it, you, you might as well do right. it right. Yeah, how I much agree. is a pit pass, Gentry? How much you say? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I I have no idea what. Can a pit you get pass us one? Be. I'll try to get you one. See All of us. Let's go. Let's go. Boogity boogity. Let's go racing. Let's do it. Yeah, it'd be fun. We'll go to a NASCAR race. I'm down. Let's do it. Uh, only for let's move on to our final topic before we get to Tomcat's news. Of course, today's uh, show is I being like brought to you by Liquid IV. We stay hydrated in the studio thanks to our friends at Liquid IV. You get the nutrients, you get the vitamins, and they deliver it right to your house. It's also available, Ooh. I saw, at Publix. Delicious. And it's available at Costco. And if you want to save money, 20%, I think maybe even more, just go to liquidiv.com. And when you check out, use our code 
outcast. Yeah, yeah man. man. People yeah. Are, are calling Harrison Buckner. Oh, is it Butkers? Harrison Butkers. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they're, they're calling him a uh, outcast as he did a commencement speech at a university, and he made some comments that have got people pretty upset. How many of you have heard the comments that he made? I have heard the segment that they play on the news, but not the whole thing, just the, the yeah. segment that yeah. pissed everyone off. I've yeah. heard. I saw like what he said um, on Twitter because it was a lot longer on Twitter, so I saw it. But then I was like, oh, this motherfucker. Do we have a clip from the truck, or should I just read uh, what we have? Let's see if we have a clip. Go ahead and roll the tape. We do Working have a clip. women. I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. Butker then referring to Pride <laughs> The kid, like, Month, which cried right at the LGBTQ right cue. <laughs> She's like, Nip. Not the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it, but the true God-centered pride that is cooperating with the Holy Ghost to glorify him. What is he talking about? I couldn't believe it was such an outdated, antiquated... Yeah, so I guess, I don't know, that's the first time I've actually heard what he said. I read what he said. But I'm trying to see where the um, the outcry is. What do you think, Tomcat? Well, the thing that <laughs> that women like that are they seem to not like. I'm not trying to speak for women or anything, but um, but, is but that you are. Go he, ahead. Well, from what I've kind of garnered from the women that have told me what they didn't like about it, they've said because I was like you, I was like I don't see anything wrong with it. But what they're saying is. Uh, they don't think women at that. They don't see a problem with what he said. It's just where he said it, when he said it. Not that it's at that place or that it's that a Catholic or at a, a Catholic college or anything. It's just that these women have just graduated. They just went through four years on rigorous college and they're ready to start their careers. And so when he immediately talked about child rearing and and being a mom at home, it kind of like she felt like it was the wrong message to talk to those women about. And not that it's a bad message. It just felt like kind of like read the room a little bit. Like maybe those women would be more interested in their, you know, sh sh going into their careers and, you know, like, let's get that going. And I, but I totally agree with him though, man. And faith in this country is lacking and taking God out of schools and families <laughs> is what is destroying this country. It's why it's crumbling is because there's no God in anything and families are falling apart. I took it as he was saying that, you know, maybe your biggest job, if you're a woman is, you could be a mom, you know, and I do think that that's a job that uh, holds a lot of merit and a lot of weight and a lot of responsibility being a mom at home and taking care of the house and making sure your kid does their homework and making sure they brush their teeth and a hundred percent teaching them. What do you I, think, I, Ramo? I agree with you a hundred percent, but I think from my perspective, what women are trying to tell everybody is that it's a choice. That they Gotta have them ribs. ribs. And whether, pussy too. Whether they opt to do that and choose that to be their life, or if like these women who just spent four years in school, a lot of student loans, a lot of hard nights, learning shit to become who they want to be, are not thinking about that right now. And I think if you're going to try to sell some message like that to these kids, you got to do it in a different way. Like, you know, maybe, hey, you know, eventually... You know, we know you're going to be a rock star. What you're going to do, you guys are awesome and everything. But eventually, you know, God's plan, you know, don't forget, you know, keep, save time, make room for a family. That's where, you know, life's going to be more, most rewarding. And, no. you know, in my opinion, and, and da, 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 something you have like a big that. Family. So I do. That's, that's good. And I think yeah. that is kind of what he was saying. He's trying to, but he didn't say it in that fashion. He kind of said it like a guy. And we don't think how women think and they need to understand it like we just don't we open our mouth and say he, shit like practically when we're we think we're being sensitive and kind of uh genuine and to them we sound like not, not so to cut you off no, but yeah i will say he was saying that they had a choice like you said to do that you know and and he so, said some of you are going to go on to lead successful <laughs> careers but i bet most of you are will be I excited said, about yeah, yeah being a mom and being married sure and, and, I don't, I don't and, and there's a that. reality though here that i think that i on, on the side of the women 
I'm sure a lot of them probably would want to be stay home moms, but unfortunately with inflation and the way everything is so expensive, the American family used to be that if the man was out earning a living, he can make enough to pay all the bills True, and the mom could stay home and make sure that uh, little Timmy was doing his homework and teaching him about the birds and the bees or whatever. It was doable. Always around to have supervision, you know, sure. Unfortunately now, now, Oh, okay, I, I, I haven't gotten so. Memphis's opinion on this. <laughs> like feminism I'm, killed that. I'm looking I mean, forward to you know, hearing what. What do you think, Memphis? I, I'm just saying, like, leave these women alone, man. Let them, like, let them graduate. Just like say, good fucking job. Yeah. I get what he was saying, sure. and obviously he didn't say it the way properly, whatever. And, yeah. and I mean, he was reading from a prepared speech, so I mean, he wrote that shit down and p- typed it up, whatever. He should have talked to he some motherfuckers. He, I mean, he didn't get somebody to proofread it. Like, yeah. hey, 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 <laughs> read this quick. I got How this little commencement you? speak. I got to do, man. You think I'm good? Yeah. This is cool. And yeah, that's, I'll take that shit out. Take yeah. that shit out. Red marker that shit. Take that shit out. Add this. Do that. So you don't look like a jackass, you know, yeah, but, yeah. you know, man, just stop telling these women. Leave these motherfuckers alone, man. Yeah. Let them go do what they're going to do. Fuck they want, yeah. And if they fuck up, let them fuck up. That's on them. That's on them, you know, but stop telling them We ain't got to worry the about it no do, more. Man. Leave them alone. Leave their bodies alone. Just All that. Fuck but up. even if they want to be a homemaker, leave them alone. Yeah, exactly. they want to be a homemaker. Yeah, if they want to do that. Especially. That's fine. They got to find a man that's going to allow it because good luck to they bitches. Man, I, wish I, I, wish I, I wish I could yeah, provide that. That ain't man. happening, it's just, so it's you always got to go work. You gotta Listen, work. I heard that Tomcat gets no bitches. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. It may be true. All right, it's come to that time. <laughs> time for the not-so-good news this week, brought to you by our new sponsor, Manscaped. Oh, man. It's getting better. We'll, yeah, have, yeah. A, uh, we'll have a link for you coming soon. No, the manscaping. It's time for the not-so-good news oh. with the winner of the Shut Up button and the Manscaped shaving kit. Our not-so-good news, man, Tomcat, take That's it away. Me. All right, it is, what day is it? May 24th, 2024. It's the 22nd, actually. I got May 22nd. Yeah, it's the 22nd. Newsman did, already, I say, did I say 24? Uh, yeah, you said 20. Yeah, yeah, May 22, 2024, yes, National Safe it. Boating Day. It's a tough one. Also, Bitcoin Pizza Day. What? what? I don't know what that is. No one does. Buy a Music Instrument Day. As you can see, we're surrounded Ooh. by them. Skin flute. That's all we don't do anymore. All right, back in... Uh, 1849 on this day in history future u.s president abraham lincoln was granted a patent for a boat lifting device he was the only u.s president to have a patent only one oh smart guy did one of our presidents have a general patent Ah, he was a general patent boom boom 1992 american comedian johnny carson considered by many to be the king of late night television made Definitely. his final appearance as host of the tonight show oh i remember that I like 1992 better. i didn't watch it arsenio hall yeah i like Darcinio. back in 2011 ooh, 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 ooh. one of the deadliest tornadoes in u.s history struck joplin missouri causing yeah. massive damage and killing some 160 people a lot of mobile homes which is crazy because uh, right now we're having wild tornado outbreaks out there yeah it was uh southern missouri my home state and it was uh it was f5 a lot of mobile homes? No, a lot of everything. Yeah. Like, uh, F5 is literally like oh, yeah, a mile, no, no. It's a, well, a mile street. and a half long, and it goes at, like, at minimum, like, 300 miles an hour. So That's, if you're in its way, you're fucked. You're dead. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you're gone and Well, everything the good else. news is you can see it coming, so you can get the fuck out of the way, but your shit's gone. Your shit will be gone. Yeah, it's gone. Man. All right, next up, on to the news. Watch this incredible moment. When Colorado mom Michelle Chandler Uh-oh. catches an alleged peeping Tom. Here we go again. <gasps> Is it the guy no relations that? with this shot. Wait, what? She's put a peeping Tom suspect in a headlock after she says she caught him snooping on her in a dressing room. Michelle Chandler says she was in a dressing room of a department store outside Denver when something caught her eye under the partition. Michelle says she grabbed this guy and held him a full 20 minutes in a headlock until cops got there. She says the guy in the check shirt and this guy are staffers at the Nordstrom Rack store who assisted her in holding the suspect. Got him. They had him. Yeah, he got Damn. arrested. She says she's seen the, the uh, camera right underneath. That's what she saw down there. He was like video, a little upskirt action again. She oh, has jeans on, so he's wasting his time. Huh. Yep, yep, caught another pedo. Whoop his ass. Next up, 
This is some good news about the Sunshine State. The Sunshine State is home to the city that just nabbed the title of the best spot to live in the U.S. That's right. The development comes as U.S. News and World Report on Tuesday identified. Want to guess which city? Uh, Cape Coral. Which city was Shit, it? Which city? Yeah. Which city was it? Which city? I say Cape Coral. It is Naples. Naples? That's right, which sits on the Gulf Coast of Mexico. Man, I can't read today. As the top city for people to reside in its 2024, 2025 best places to live report. If you're rich. Yeah, like if you're like. Scoring well in the job market. If you're uh, rich. uh, And Mm. quality of life categories. Sure. Help Naples to achieve that feat and beat out 149 other major U.S. cities. I like Naples. Last year, Naples Naples was number six on that list. All right, next up, this is another video. An illegal immigrant allegedly went on a serial raping spree in Southern California. I know, cover your eyes, Raymo. You're not going to like this story. Attacking his victims in a rape dungeon on wheels. Good Lord. Before he was caught. Rape dungeon on wheels. Oh, my God. Described as rigged for rape. The coronas. Is this verified? Bungees, children's toys, multiple It is Fox. Has it been verified? And the mattress. I just want to know. stained disgusting has it been I verified say, almost a 20 year career this is the mo- that's disgusting <laughs> that's so it's yeah gross. the guys uh, if it's real the name i'm trying to get the guy's name he was 40 year old 40 year old eduardo Sab- sarabia was arrested monday with a 26 year old woman inside his decked Crazy. out van which he had driven to a remote <laughs> area of the San Gabriel Mountains near San Bernardino. The way then where they found her, she was screaming. Sicko. Yeah. She was screaming. So that's they found crazy. Her. Yeah, yeah. That's a crazy story. They one Fuck. of those weird stories you're not gonna see much. I don't know why. Shit's Kill. wild. Wow. Next up, wild footage captured the moment a driver rammed his bright green Lamborghini into an armed robber who stole his Rolex. This footage is from Sao Paulo, Brazil. It shows the crook driving up on a motorbike to the expensive sports car. And he snatches this guy's wallet. And uh, the guy is on the scooter right there who who stole his wallet. I guess he gets it right there at the light. Now the guy peels out on the scooter. And this guy rams his bright green Lamborghini into that pole right there trying to get the guy on the scooter. Bam! The guy on the scooter is right there on the ground now. But he gets up and he gets away. Messed up, right? Now this guy is out the Lamborghini and the watch. How pissed would you be? Can't let your anger get the best of you. Yep. That's proof of it right there. My uh, last story today is another pedo, pedo activity. 27 men, including a former MLB player for the Boston Red Sox and a Mayo Clinic respiratory therapist, were arrested recently during an undercover multi-agency child sex crimes investigation. Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters, no relation, announced at a news conference on Monday. Did you see the video of them grabbing him? Oh, man, they can... These That's are the crazy. other guys they got. But the first one was uh, was him being arrested. Uh, Austin Maddox, former Red Sox player and University of Florida alumni, go Gators, traveled yep. with the intent of engaging in oh, sexual activity shit. with a 14-year-old girl. Looks like he left the majors and went back to the minors, folks. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Oh, that That's good, good reporting right there. It is. Kudos, I, I took kudos. aggressive reporting. I like That's that. That's the news. Nice. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Nice they don't look like transgenders anymore. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Whoop their ass, too. Motherfuckers, uh, man. Like tell you. Man, that was fucked some up, not dude. so good news, man. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. shitty yeah, shit. Wait, what's with all these sick fucks in your news, dude? <laughs> I mean, this stuff should be, uh, you know, look at everywhere. Look at yeah, Florida, people man, should know about you know? that. People should know about rape van around. guy. 100%. Ladies need to know there's guys out there. Making rape fans. They, I mean, yeah, that's they do. Crazy, they though. do. They do. They called it yeah. a dungeon, though. Rape I thought, dungeon I thought a, on wheels. I dungeon. thought a dungeon meant you had yeah. to like go down below. Well, so oh, he played uh, a lot of black. I bet Sabbath, they were though. So. That's yeah. fucking crazy, man. Yeah, why, they went down below. Why motherfuckers right? gotta be crazy out here and shit? Motherfuckers is crazy, dog. It's Florida. Everybody, this weekend is uh, Memorial California. Day weekend, oh, same right? Shit. Oh, it is. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure. Oh what? shit! Isn't this weekend Memorial Day weekend? It Memorial is. Day weekend. It is. That's oh, right. Wow. Be thank careful. you to our troops. Long weekend. Yes. yes. Thank you. Have thank you. Time. Thank you. Yes, the heroes. We'd like to thank Jacob and Jordan uh, and Crystal back in the booth for Appreciate making things happen. You. Weren't you complaining about them earlier? I was. The guys in the back. They had oh, a little. They, they could have done a little better job with the mugshot mayhem, but uh-huh. you know, I think they did a pretty good job. I won, so I'm happy. Y'all did a good. Well, you cheated. We didn't. 
Excellent. We know you had the answers. Make sure if you see uh, somebody that's a veteran, you thank them for their service. You know, we salute everyone who yes. has served. And, of course. Take a veteran to breakfast. Yes. Hell yeah. Do. Or lunch or dinner. Something. Do something with them. There you go. Everybody enjoy the rest of their week. We appreciate you tuning into the Outcast podcast. That's going to do it for the white guy, the black guy, and the brown guy. Who time? So long, everybody. Appreciate you. Thank Be good. y'all. Like appreciate and y'all. Subscribe. Rest Have a good Don't listen to Tomkin. He has brain Oh, Gentry. Holy oh. shit. Look at Should've, that. Look at that mugshot. What the fuck is that? What's going on with that hair, man? What is wow. going on? What's up with the front stuff right Where's your mustache? <laughs> You were 12. <laughs> Should have showed my no, young no, one. My young one's much better. I'm one. pretty oh, sure so he, he was seven compare, years old in that picture. Uh, he probably doesn't look. have an old one. He stopped Plus. getting oh, in trouble. Gosh. Man, I look pretty smooth there. You do. Yeah, you right do. in the Those jail. Are my young, young kind of fly for a white guy? <laughs> somebody <laughs> photoshopped that. Somebody <laughs> photoshopped that. <laughs> <laughs> <Somebody photoshopped. laughs> <laughs> His ass in jail, dog. You look like a beetle. See you next week. We got to go. One of the boy bands.